Whoa, 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 I think I've got a big one. <laughs> I did catch a big green fish. Oh, hello boys and girls. Welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling. My name is Dwayne, and look what I just caught myself. A big green fish. <laughs> hey, how many of you like to go fishing? Do you enjoy it? I love fishing. Fishing can be a lot of fun, especially when you do get to catch some fish, but it can be quite boring. There's a lot of waiting to be done, but I found a game that we can play when we're waiting to catch the fish. You wanna play it with me? Okay, I'm gonna teach it to you, okay? This game is called the fish word game. So I will act out a word that has the word fish in it. For example, the word fish ball. So I will tell you where the word fish comes in and then I'm going to act out the second part of the word. For example, fish and ball. Fish ball. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, what about this? Um, fish. Fish soup. That's right. Okay, I think you kids are smart enough to play this game with me. Okay, are you ready boys and girls? Parents, mommies, and daddies, you can play along too. Okay, four words. Okay, we're gonna guess four words. Are you ready? Okay, the first word, um, fish comes at the second part. Okay, so it is something fish. Ready? Let's go. Meow. Meow. Catfish, that's right. Okay, next one. Um, ooh, okay, this might be a bit tricky. Okay, let's try and see if you can get it. Fish is the second part of the word. The first part of the word, Angel, yes, correct. Angel fish. Angel fish is a type of fish. Okay, um, another one. Um, okay, what about this? This might be a bit tricky, but um, let's try, okay? Um, now, fish comes in the front. So I'm going to describe the second part of the word to you, okay? So fish, and the second part is... Fingers, that's right. Fish fingers. Fish fingers is not a type of fish. It's something that you can eat. <laughs> I love fish fingers. Okay, okay. One more last one. One more last one. Okay. This is going to be challenging, okay? Even I don't know if I can get it, but I'm going to try. Okay, so this fish comes to the second part. So I'm going to describe the first part of the word to you. Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Did you guess Jellyfish. I don't know how to describe jelly, but if you got jellyfish, well done. High five, high 10, high 20. Wow, so, well, these are some fun games that you can play while waiting to catch your fish. You know, today's story, it's also about a fish, but this fish doesn't do actions. This fish actually talks. It is about a magic talking fish. Are you ready for today's story? Well, today's story is entitled, the fisherman and his wife. Once upon a time, there was a fisherman, um, ooh, <clears throat> a fisherman who lived with his wife in a little hut by the sea. Every morning, the fisherman would head to the sea to catch food. He would catch fish for food. Now, in the sea lived many other creatures other than fish. For example, um, there would be a squid, there would be squids under the sea like this one. What else can you find under the sea? <gasps> Lobsters, like this. <laughs> oh, I've got a giant lobster behind there. Oh, talking about giant lobsters, I have a giant crab under the sea over here. Check this huge crabby guy, but he looks a bit tired. He's a bit crabby over now. <laughs> what else can you find under the sea? <gasps> What about this? Dun 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 <laughs> Plenty of sea creatures under the sea. Well, the fisherman was going to catch some fish for food. Sometimes he would be able to catch a big catch of fish. Sometimes he would go home empty-handed. Well, today he was hoping and praying that he would be blessed. So, he took his fishing rod he put the worm onto the hook and he cast the rod into the sea. And he waited and waited. 
couldn't play the word game, but there was nobody to guess. So he just waited. Mm, suddenly, whoo! Whoa, 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 I feel something tugging. Oh, whoa, whoa. And he started to pull and pull and pull. And from deep under the blue sea, a bright orange fish appeared. Whoa, please don't catch me. The fish spoke. You can talk. Of course I can talk. You're not supposed to talk, you're a fish. Fish don't talk, we eat fish. <gasps> Please don't eat me. I'm not really a fish. I am a prince. An evil wizard cast a spell on me. And now I've become a fish forever. <laughs> oh, I, 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 look, I'm so sorry, said the fisherman. I won't eat you. I I'll throw you back. I can't imagine eating a talking fish. No, oh, please throw me back. I tell you what. I will grant you wishes if you throw me back into the sea and don't eat me. Wow, wishes? That would be great. Um, okay, but how do I find you if I need a wish? Um, you can call on this magical rhyme that I'm going to teach you. Okay, uh, hey boys and girls, can you help me remember this rhyme? Okay. I'm gonna whisper in your ear. Okay. Uh, little fish, little fish. Deep in the sea. Grant me a wish for setting you free. Oh, that's easy. Let's try it together, okay kids? It goes, little fish, little fish. Deep in the sea. Grant me a wish for setting you free. Okay, let's try it together one more time. Ready, go. Little fish, little fish, deep in the sea. Grant me a wish for setting you free. That's right. And I will come onto the surface and grant you your wish. Sounds like a deal. Bye bye, talking prince fish. <laughs> and with that, the fish jumped right back into the blue waters and swam away. Now the fisherman was quite excited, but he didn't catch anything that day. So he went back home to his little hut where his wife was. Ooh. His wife. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> oh, darling, you are back. <laughs> oh, you are also empty handed. Where is the fish? You did not catch any fish. <laughs> now, the fisherman told her all about the wonderful golden orange fish that he caught. <gasps> you caught a beautiful golden orange fish and you let it go? <gasps> what? It was a talking fish? <gasps> This fish can talk, and it said that it will grant you wishes, so what did you wish for? <laughs> Nothing. You didn't wish for anything. Well, well, I want you to go and ask your fish finger friend for a wish. I, I wish that I could have a beautiful house to stay in. I'm so tired of this little hut that we're living in. I'm so bored of it. I want a beautiful cottage with, with a rose bush outside and a garden and bougainvillea plants. Please! Now, the fisherman did not want to argue with his wife. So, the next morning, he went back to the sea. Whew. He looked at the green waters, and he remembered the rhyme that the fish taught him. Boys and girls, remember the rhyme? Let's call out for the fish together, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Little fish, little fish, deep in the sea, grant me a wish for setting you free. And deep from the green sea, the fish appeared. Hello, fisherman. What wish would you like? Um, actually, it's not for me. It's uh, it's for my wife. Oh, what wish would she like then? Um, she wishes for. A beautiful cottage. <laughs> Go home. It is done. And with that, the fish dove back into the sea. Now the fisherman went back home. But this time, there was no little hut. In its place stood a beautiful cottage with a huge garden in front. And there was a rose bush. And there was a huge bougainvillea plant. And there he saw his wife running to him. Ooh. <laughs> 
run into him. Oh, fisherman husband, look at what your fish finger friend made me. A beautiful cottage with a big garden and oh, a rose bush and bougainvillea plants. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. Oh. But her happiness did not last for long. The next morning, she wanted something else. Oh, husband, I'm so bored with this bougainvillea plant and this rose bush and this garden and this cottage pottage. I want something else. I want something bigger, something grander. I want a castle. A castle, boys and girls, can you believe that? She had a beautiful cottage and she now wanted a castle. Well, the fisherman did not want to argue with his wife and so he went back to the sea to look for the fish. Now this time the sea wasn't blue and crystal clear, it wasn't green, it was, it was murky, it was a darker green. Oh, something was changing. He didn't know what it was, but well, he decided to call for the fish for help. <clears throat> Boys and girls, I need your help, okay? Together. Little fish, little fish, deep in the sea, grant me a wish for setting you free. And before he knew it, the fish swam up to the surface. Hello, fisherman, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying your cottage. Now, what would you like me to give you? Um, <laughs> well, at least he's not me again. It's, uh, it's my wife. Now, she, she would like a castle. A castle? Sure. Go home. It is done. And with that, the fish dove back into the sea. Okay, that was easy. And so the fisherman went back. But he could not find his little hut. He could not find the cottage or the garden. In its place stood a huge castle. This castle was so huge, there was a drawbridge that came down to welcome the fisherman. The fisherman was escorted into the big doors. Oh wow, oh, this was a majestic castle. He looked around and saw his wife. <clears throat> oh, oh. oh, look at this beautiful castle. I just love this castle. Oh, my darling sweetheart, fisherman and husband, your fish finger friend made me this beautiful castle. <laughs> now I'm so happy I can enjoy this castle, this huge castle. <laughs> but she was not happy for long. She wanted something more. The next morning, she asked her fisherman husband for something else. Husband! I'm so bored with my castle. What's the point of having a castle when you can't be fisherman? I want you to ask your fish finger friend to make me the queen. <laughs> oh dear. Now she wants to be the queen. Oh, well, the fisherman did not want to get into an argument with his wife again. And so he went back to the sea. Now, the sea was no more dark green and murky. It was, it was dark blue and it, it was a bit smelly and it was very, very different and unwelcoming. But still, he decided to call for the fish using the rhyme. Little fish, little fish, deep in the sea, grant me a wish for setting you free. And deep from the sea, the fish appeared. Oh, hi, uh, yeah, so what do you want now? Uh, hi, fishy. Well, it's not me this time. <laughs> it's still my wife. <laughs> she would like to be queen. Hmm. All right, go home. It is done. And the fish dove back into the sea. <laughs> okay, I've got to go and meet her majesty. <sighs> and true enough, when he went back, he saw a beautiful queen. Na, 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 da, da. Oh, husband, look at me. 
<laughs> I don't only have a castle, I am the queen <laughs> of this castle. Why, look at my servants and my dukes and my duchess. <laughs> look at this beautiful crown that I have. I have so much power and I'm so rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have everything. I want all day to enjoy my wealth. But it's going to be night soon. I wish it was day. <gasps> Fisherman husband, I want you to go back to the sea and ask your fish finger friend to give me control over the sun and the moon over night and day. I want to have control of how long the day will be so I can enjoy my wealth. <laughs> Wow, now the fisherman's wife was really getting carried away. She was asking for so much. Boys and girls, do you think it's right for the fisherman's wife to keep asking for all these? <laughs> do you think it was right for the fisherman to keep listening to her? Well, the fisherman didn't want to get into an argument with his wife. Ah, but he was so perplexed and so confused and frustrated. He went back to the sea nonetheless. This time, the sea was not blue, not crystal clear. It wasn't green, it wasn't murky, it wasn't dark blue. It was, it was black and it was bubbling and there was steam coming out from the surface. I have no idea what was happening, but the fishermen started to call out for the fish. Little fish, little fish, deep in the sea. Grant me a wish for setting you free. And then from deep in the sea, the little fish appeared. Spish. Hello, old friend. What is it that your wife wants now? Well, said the fisherman, she, she. But the fisherman had something different to say this time. Well, this time I have a wish. I wish that my wife would be happy. The fish looked at him and said, Go home. It is done. And with that, the fish dove back into the sea. Now the sea didn't bubble anymore. It was not black. It started to change and it was back to blue and it was crystal clear and beautiful just the same way the fisherman remembered how it was at the start. The fisherman felt a huge bird and lifted from his shoulders. And so he went back. As he walked back, there was no more castle. Ooh. There was no huge garden. There was no rosebush and bougainvillea. There in the distance stood the little hut that he was very familiar with. But then the doors opened and his wife stood in front of him. <gasps> This time there was a huge smile on her face. She ran up to him and gave him a big hug. Oh, my husband, my fisherman husband, I missed you so much. You know, when you were gone these few days, I realized something. Expensive things were not making me happy. Oh, all these things that I asked you to ask was, they were nice, but... It didn't mean anything. I just kept looking at them and admiring them. But I got bored and I got tired and it didn't make me any happier. What I realized is that I really missed you, my husband. I realized that I'm happy when I'm with you. I'm happy when we have a roof over our heads. And I'm happy that we can eat together every day, that we have food on our table. Will you please forgive me, my fisherman husband? Said the fisherman's wife. And of course, the fisherman forgave his wife. <laughs> and from then on, they lived very happy lives together, enjoying their company, enjoying the roof over their head, enjoying the food at their table. And they both lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Wow, I hope you enjoyed this story. Well. It is important to be happy with what we have and be thankful for all that we have. Hey, what are some things that you can be thankful for today? Maybe let's think of three things. Well, I can be thankful for, for a bed that I can sleep comfortably at night. I can be thankful for a roof over my head. And I'm thankful for my family that I can spend time with. What are you thankful for? 
If you enjoyed today's story, please click on the link and subscribe to our channel or follow us on Facebook. For this week's Art and Craft project, head down to our Instagram and Facebook page. Mommies and Daddies, Gateway Kids Club is a free program and your donation helps to keep this program running as well as support artists like myself. To donate, see the link below or visit our website. See you again soon for more wonderful, exciting stories. Bye-bye! <laughs> okay, now to go and catch more fish. Ta-da! Okay, now um, I'm gonna put you here and I've got a little worm. Can you see my little worm? Gonna catch, okay. Are you ready to catch some fish, little worm? One, two, three, woo! Okay, now we wait. Let me wait. Okay, hey, would you like to play the fish word with me? Okay, the first word is... 